How you doing, warriors? In this video, you will learn how you can conquer with the conqueror. Bye! Have a great time! <laughs> Before we get started, I really have to thank every single one of you guys that has been supporting me on this channel. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers and that is crazy and it is amazing. I will be making more videos to come and I will also be streaming on YouTube and Twitch so if you want, drop by and say hi, we could totally play if you play on the PC. Now with that said, let's get right into the video. Conqueror is really powerful in team fights and holding sites in Dominion but he is really, really weak against people that know to parry and dodge. Assassins are a really huge counter to the Conqueror. Now I personally don't think you should go and play duels with him, but in Dominion he should be a really strong character to play as. Please keep in mind the Conqueror can be really powerful, but he is really difficult to master against good players. One of the biggest flaws that I see with the Conqueror is that he cannot feint his flail. Now, it does make sense why when you launch a flail, you cannot really pull it back, but again, he is really weak because of that. If you're playing against a good character that is constantly parrying you, you cannot really force him to attack you. Now, there is a way to actually feint the flail, but it is really difficult and the chances of them retaliating to that flail is really slim to none. So what you do is you charge up your flail with holding heavy attack. Once you let go of heavy attack, instead of pressing your feint button, you press your full block stance button. Now you have to do this really fast, but it can be helpful. Now with that said, let's get into his movesets and to his strengths. Now, when you play the Conqueror and you hold your right mouse button, which is the heavy attack, you start swinging your flail. The flail has two stages, the first stage being little damage and the second stage being more damage. When you hold your, your heavy attack, when the flail goes red, that means it is in the second stage mode. So that if you actually land that hit, it'll do a lot more damage than if you were just going to mouse click. Now keep in mind, when you're swinging your flail, you are capable of blocking and even cancelling the flail itself. So the way you cancel the flail is you press the feint button and you stop swinging. Now if you want to block a character, you can't parry while, while swinging the flail, but if someone attacks you, you can block them and then retaliate with, with throwing the flail at them. So just before you know someone will attack you, you want to start swinging your flail and when they attack you, block and then let go of the mouse or the button that you've been holding. That ensures that you actually just go smack his ass and just beat him to death. Now keep in mind that you cannot really swing your flail for a long time, so you cannot really hold your heavy attack for a long time because you actually lose stamina while doing so, and you don't really want to do that with the Conqueror. Conqueror is really critical on stamina and you really want to watch it whenever you're playing with him. Now when the enemy notices that you are charging up your flail and holding the, the heavy attack, they will try to stun you and guard break you. Be ready to actually retaliate and, and press the guard break button so that you can push him back. Now one of the strengths of the Conqueror would be his shield. His shield can cancel any chain attacks and combo attacks, so keep that in mind. The Conqueror also has a full block stance. Keep in mind that the block stance does not stop chain attacks like the actual normal block does. And if you run out of stamina while using the block stance, you will drop to the ground to be molested on. You do not want to do that, so keep an eye on your stamina while you're holding the full block stance. While running with the Conqueror, if you press the guard break button, you will shield bash your opponent to the ground. This can be really useful to throw your opponents off or throw them on the ground so that your team can kill them quickly. You can also get a free heavy hit if you shield bash them to the ground and then follow up with a heavy attack. The Conqueror can do infinite light attacks until his stamina runs out. This is not useful because people will eventually parry you and they will actually kill you so easily that you would not even think about it. Now what of Conqueror's signature move is the shield bash mix up. How you do this combo is really simple. You start off with a heavy attack then you follow up with a guard break then you repeat and repeat and repeat it again. Now keep in mind that assassins can really counter this by dodging and parrying you. Now the other move of the Conqueror would be if you skip towards a direction and you press the guard break button you would actually initiate the shield bash as well. Now this can be useful if you're trying to throw off your opponent or if you're trying to initiate the shield bash mix up. 
Now keep in mind that the Conqueror's heavy attack is really slow, and in most cases the enemy can block them or even parry them. So what you want to do is you want to shield bash them towards a wall, that point they will get stunned far longer and you can actually hit your, your heavy attack. Now one of the biggest complaints I have with the Conqueror as of the open beta would be when you actually stun the person or even parry them, you cannot follow up with a heavy attack. The reason being is that your heavy attack is super slow and they will eventually just block it or even parry it. So please keep in mind, if you end up parrying someone, do a light attack or even if you end up stunning someone, do a light attack instead of a heavy attack because they might actually block it. When you get revenge with the conqueror and you do the shield bash mix up, you are guaranteed that your opponent will drop to the ground once you actually shield bash them. So once you get that chance, do it over and over and over again until your opponent is dead. The conqueror has a really powerful zone attack used to clear minions fast or used in team fights to give you some space. Now keep in mind that you can do this forever until your stamina runs out and if you actually have revenge you can do it forever actually. Now the way you trigger the zone attack would be you hold the light attack and the heavy attack both together. When you release them that is when you actually stop doing the zone attack. Now I personally think that the conqueror is really underpowered at this stage but they might change him later on. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below, I am constantly reading them. If you have any suggestions, this was actually a suggestion made by a subscriber, so please be sure to actually suggest what you want to see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting me. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day.